All right, so next thing I want to do is I want to show you this next problem. So again, guys, if you look at this, just go through the steps. Amplitude. That's going to be your A, the number in front of your sign. I don't have a number there, so we know it's going to be 1, which we know is 1. Therefore, my graph, the distance from my graph, is just going to be like the parent function. It's going to go up 1 and down 1. Then I need to figure out the period. So this one's going to be a little bit tricky. The period, remember, is 2 pi over b, whereas b is your number in front of x. Now, more likely, everybody always says, oh, it's going to be pi. But they do not want to include the pi over 4 because notice that pi is being divided by 4. So you have to include pi divided by 4. So my b is pi divided by 4. Okay, so you have 2 pi all over pi divided by 4. Have to make sure you guys include that. Okay, now how do we get rid of a fraction on a fraction? Multiply by the reciprocal. That cancels the 1, so what I have is 2 pi times 4 over pi. And you can put this over 1 to help you so you have two fractions. So then, Aaron, what I have is my pi's will cancel out, and I'm just left with 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So therefore, my, it's going to take, um, it's going to be all the way to 8 when my graph has completed one cycle. Then I remember I told you guys, on a sine graph, remember there's four important points, right, that... We have our max, our min, and our intercept. In one cycle, there's four important points. So if I take eight, divided by four, I get two. That means that there's an interval of two between each of those important points. So let's go and graph an x and y axis. And eight's pretty easy. We can just say, all right, well, um, let's just go out to eight. Let's say this is eight, then this would be four. That's two, <laughs> and that's six. Right? Let's say I go, that's 1 and that's negative 1. So remember the sine graph crosses at the x and y intercept. Then it goes up to its maximum at the first important point. Crosses the x intercept at the second important point. Has its minimum at the third important point, And ends its cycle, ends its first cycle at the fourth important point. You guys see why it's important to have those four important points? for each period, because then all I have to do now, it. so that's one period. If I wanted to continue, a second period would be seven, <laughs> that's not seven, that'd be nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so then you just complete the exact same process again. And remember the graph goes infinitely to the right and to the left, completing the exact same cycle. Oh yeah, I know this is gonna sound like kind of stupid, but why are you going two, four, six, eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Um I don't know. <laughs> I No, I yes, your next point should be ten. Sorry. It's not sounding stupid, it's just Purely right. I feel so smart now. Thank from you. a stupid question. I don't know. I, for some reason, just being used to graphs for some reason, I do that. But no, yeah, exactly right. If each important point, remember, each between each important point is two unit is two, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, between each important point should be two. Okay. I was just having a break there, you might say. But does that mean have any questions that are even you think is stupid? Well, or excellent <laughs> questions. No, everybody thinks they're up close. Wait. Wait, I'm not going to race it. I'll sit up there.